Welcome back to P3. A gynecologist at Hadassah University Hospital Mount Scopus campus at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem, Dr. Ronit Koshman works with both Muslim Arabs and members of the Orthodox Jewish community. Here's part two of my fascinating conversation. talked about the Arab community. What about the complexities of the religious Jewish community? Uh, do they come with their own set of uh, religious and it, baggage? And it, uh, true, it doesn't fall short of yeah. the, of the uh, Arabs issue that we have here. And the beauty of what we do here is that we, is this, we don't judge. Mm -hmm. We may have our own you convictions, know, convictions ideas, and yeah. problems and, 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 and inconveniences, but still, we have to deliver mm. treatment. So, for your question, um, like a big section of the Jewish community, the Jewish mm -hmm. population in Jerusalem um, follow, follows the halacha. Halacha is the Jewish way of living, the conservative mm -hmm. Jewish way of living. There's purification processes. And yes. These, right. And within this conduct of uh, rules of conduct, a woman should, should have an sexual intercourse with her husband mm -hmm. only after she was purified, mm -hmm. after immersion in a um, purity bath. Okay. This is called the mikveh. Mm -hmm. Now the mikveh is timed to be beyond the 11, 12 day of her cycle. Okay. Now if she has a regular cycle, it she might works. It, it, works. it may work, right. but if she has a short cycle and about 20% of the population normally has a short cycle of 25 okay, well, days. Let, let, let so me get they this straight. Will, what you're saying to me is that 20% of the population, if they want to follow their religious convictions, may never be able to conceive in normal ways, if, in, the, in the traditional if, ways. Never is too strong of a word. It would be that in many of their cycles, they will not be able to right. conceive. Wow. So they, like lo logically you would say, okay, so there's a, there's a halach halachic uh, issue, mm -hmm. you, she should go to the rabbi right. and ask for a consultation or ask for a way to get around this, right. this, this problem. What happens in reality, she would go to me and to my colleagues and mm -hmm. ask for medications to postpone the ovulation oh. beyond the mikveh, beyond the time of the mikveh. Okay. And we can do it very easily. I, is this an area of secrecy for her? Is this is this uh, something that she'd be ashamed of? No, it, in her it, there's no there's okay. no shame. And this looks like a very natural process. Mm -hmm. There's a problem. We go mm -hmm. to the rabbi. The rabbi would say, "Okay, this is a very known problem. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Right. Go to your doctor." Huh. And you know, so in, in Israel, even even doctors that are not fertility mm -hmm. specialists would, would would give this kind mm -hmm. of a treatment. This Amazing. is estrogen. Okay. This is, those, those medications um, may have a potential of being mm. harmful maybe mm. later in life. Mm. So we don't know. Is there ever, uh, in these religious communities in particular, uh, issues of ethical dilemmas to get treatment? Because some of the treatments that you're talking about are cutting edge, but they also are, we're talking about, you know, in vitro fertilization, you're using embryos, sometimes discarding of embryos. Is there an ethical? There is an uh, ethical uh, issue, of course. For, for example, um, many couples would say, we have to try more, to try even, even kind of procedures that look to me completely useless mm -hmm. in their specific situation. Mm -hmm. They would still go ahead and, 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 and keep, uh, trying, keep them. trying them in order to say to themselves and to the rabbi, right. okay, we tried this, we tried that, right. now we, ha we have to go up to the um, right. To the higher the tech, last resort. the last resort of the higher right. tech technology. Right. Yes, yes. Uh. And there's another issue because the, the, the sperm mm -hmm. is like the seed of life in the halachic uh, ideas. So it should not be um, given for mm. examination too quickly. Mm. So first you have to investigate the woman. Right. If everything is fine. The, 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 the couple may be given a permission to give the oh. semen for examination. Wow. Yes. So there's complexity even in that. So you have to know the mentality right. in order to be an acceptable doctor. Hmm.
Wow, and just otherwise, think about the layers be, that, you're, yeah. that you're operating on and all these different it's an, it's technical... A, it's a new language. It's incredible. It's, a, it's, just, it's just a language that when you come to this kind of community, you should be aware of all those tips mm -hmm. and those mm -hmm. weaknesses and, right. and, and of, 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 the, of, this, of this community. And it is a, a new language yeah, and, I mean, for me. And your ability to be able to in, interact with these different communities is obviously it's, exciting. It's not just me. It's, it's this team, this yeah. team of ours in Hadassah. That's what we huh. do all day. First patient would be an Arab. Right. Second patient would be uh, an ultra-Orthodox Haredi huh. woman. And we like switch from one language to another. Wow. And that's it. Right. That's how we do fertility medicine here. And all the sensitivities of, of all these religious issues oh, and eth you know, ethical issues. And you have and, to and juggle all these and things. there's another issue, the, the political issue of mm. ha the, like the demographic problem here in Israel. Mm. Like we, Jewish mm -hmm. doctors, like aid mm. people that are Arabs and they have right. Palestinian identity. Or mm. me, because of, because of the Shoah trauma, the Holocaust right. trauma. Like the, yeah. the, and I, the, I mean, think about that question. Are you enabling a population that in one sense is, is pushing against you, and yet I'm allowing you to continue to give birth in massive, massive rates? You could even say, as a fertility doctor, you're enabling this population to outgrow you in the land. This is, I mean, think about I, the complexity I'm just of giving that. You, I'm just giving you more and more um, huh. things that wow. add to the complexity of this reality hmm. in which we work in. Wow. And we're very, I mean, as you said, it is very intriguing, mm -hmm. and it makes our professional life much more interesting wow. than if it was like, like a homogeneous yeah, population. Right. Everyone's the same. Yes. It is an absolute pleasure to chat with you. Thank you very much. You have an incredible hospital here. Thank you. Thanks Thank for you all very, you do. Thank you very much. Thank you. More P3 coming up next.